you're going to really like this. So I want to show you how to um, cut with the ruler. Okay, so I'm going to take my fabric, fold it in half, and I'm going to trim off the salvage edge. You always put the fold on your right and your salvage on the left. And you take your ruler and you look it over. Let us see. Up at the top, I'm going to put this on my page. Up at the top, you see center, 12 inch block, okay? And then it says center, 6 inch block, okay? And everything is on there. There is a finished log cabin block. There's Quilt in a Day's 800 number. That's good to know. <laughs> and then this is the block that has the penciled in B1, B2. And then when you get to the bottom, you see, okay, one half or one part of it is all for 12-inch blocks, and the other part is for 6-inch. All on one ruler. Is that good? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Clever, huh? It's even going to be easy to use. That's what's the best part. Okay, so I'm going back to page 20. I've got my strips. And as I said, you usually only need to have two log cabin or center strips. Okay, so just take and put your ruler and trim off that salvage edge. Get rid of it. Okay, now. I'm doing a 12 inch block. I'm lining up my lines. Ooh, look. Is that good? Right there. And you just cut your two and a half inch square, slide it out of the way. You don't need to reorganize or anything. Just keep on sliding your ruler up your strip, cutting your center squares. Are we good? Yes. Is that amazing? Okay, I, I get, I, once I get going, I can't stop. <laughs> okay, and you're just going to stack them. Probably the easiest way might be to stack them all right side up so that whenever you're ready for sewing, you can just go. Okay, this is the two and a half inch strip, and I'm just going to set this aside. And this is for the logs. And just take them. Actually, there's two of them. So let's get the fold on the right and just reverse it if you're left handed and line it up. Okay, good. And then you have to turn the ruler around and work the other way. And now it says B1. Trim it. Get rid of it. Slide B1 in like this and just go ahead and stack these pieces and just keep on going. And I told you how many logs most of the big ones have. How many logs? 28. So guess how many of these strips you have to cut? 28. 28. 28. And you know what? I said, oh my gosh, I can't stand to count. Just take the number of strips it says in the book, and when the strips are all cut up, you're done cutting. <laughs> right? That's it. You don't have to count. Forget counting. Okay, that's, that's me. I, I can't stand to do little stuff like that. Okay, so that was B1, and this is what Teresa showed me. You stack them up all neat, and they're just like cards and you just tap them, and then they're perfect. See? <laughs> Aren't you glad you showed me that? Okay, so now we've got 28 for B1. Now we're just going to slide it up to B2. It's the same, and you just keep on going, cutting. So I have four in each stack. That's pretty good, huh? You could, you could um, count really quick like that, too. Okay, and so you just keep on going, and you follow the ruler, and you cut all your B1s up to B8, and then you do all your darks. That is so cool. Is that cool? Yeah. 
Aren't you glad you have it?